Can you introduce yourself and share a bit about your background before you join design? Hello, my name is Muringa Tona Bonita and I am a student here at Sabe in the Department of Architecture and Design. I study environmental design and I am a year three student. To talk a little about my um, background before joining the design department, I was a student in secondary school and I took physics, chemistry and mathematics. I used to aspire to become an architecture, but I found myself in design. Did you have any specific projects or ideas in mind that motivated you to pursue this field? So uh, how I came to uh, get interested about design more is I used to have friends that studied design back then and they were mainly in environmental design like I am right now and I was curious of knowing how is the difference between design and architecture because they I used to see them building houses and small miniature houses I used to see them doing material boards and I was curious and I learned that a designer can bring ideas, creativity, innovation and apply them through sketches and then bring the ideas to life by making prototypes, by making miniatures. That's how I got involved into wanting to be into design and specifically environmental design. How has your perception of environmental design evolved since you started studying. What are some of the challenges you faced while studying environmental design? Environmental design has grown over the years, I mean over the whole year, as I just joined environmental design because I used to think environmental design was all about designing the inside and outside of the house, but I didn't know that it also involves working on structures and working, bringing furniture and talking about that. So um, some challenges that I have faced during um, environmental design of course come mainly to the sculpture sculpture subjects. I used to think we, you know, learn interior design, how we can place different monuments outside or inside. But I didn't know when sculpture was also involved in environmental design. I didn't know that we had to do sculpture on our own. So I was a beginner in sculpturing and we used different materials like soap, we used cardboard. We used wires, we used papers, we used a variety of materials. So being a first time sculptor was one of the challenges that I met with in environmental design. Can you share a project or achievement that you're particularly proud of during your studies? Where do you see the future of environmental design heading? One of the projects that I'm proud of that I have worked on is a recent uh, projects that we did for our finals of the first trimester and it was about designing a landscape of a certain guest house here in the College of Science and Technology where we designed its landscape. So um, designing the miniature and cutting different materials to actually bring to life your thoughts is one of the proudest um, it's one of my works that I can say that I'm proud of. And uh, I see environmental design going far. I see environmental designers designing houses or that are based on biophilic designs where I uh, will be designing sustainability and bringing sustainability and eco-friendly designs to the, mainly to the Rwandan population or Rwandan society. And um, I see that by actually designing, bringing you ideas like sketches and mainly showing the material board that you're going to be using in order to show your client. Did you have a special connection with nature or the environment before choosing design as a path? What advice would you give to someone considering a career in environmental design? Um, I've always connected to nature. I've always found outdoor spaces for me as places to relax. Even when I'm in classroom and I get stressed out, I love to go outside and connect with nature to help me relax. So um, I can say nature and the environment have always been my go-to thing. 
even before choosing design and actually after becoming a designer environmental designer is where i found is where i actually realized that i have a connection to it and for the for the advice that i can give to someone who is trying to pursue environmental design it is a nice and uh, it's a really nice course to go for i can encourage you to bring your idea because every idea counts and put it into sketches apply it into your machine when you come to study environmental design you will learn how to and bring your ideas to life even prototype them it's a good module it's a good um, course to take and i assure you will not regret thank you thank you tana Bonata, for opening your heart and allowing us to glimpse into your dreams before your journey into environmental design your passion, dedication and commitment to creating a more sustainable world through design are truly inspiring. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure uh, talking to you and sharing my aspirations and dreams.